All right, so let's uh, do some stick figures. First of all, the head is the shape of an egg. It's really the shape of a circle with a triangle that's cut off. All right, so that's really how we draw a head. Um, you can do this a number of ways. You could also do a circle and a box and a box and make it look kind of like a skeleton. Um, but these are, the, these are what your head should look like. Nobody's head looks like that. All right, so everybody's got a little tiny short neck. Everybody's got a shoulders that should be, if you make a triangle, about the width of that. You should be able to fit a head on both sides. This is the unhappy me and the happy me, all right? So then, box comes down, and this is gonna be just basic. In reality, if it's a female, this box is gonna curve like so. If it's a male, this box is really gonna come in just slightly. But for most basic, you all can just do a rectangle, all right? Now, the joints, the arm comes out of a joint. Halfway down, um, actually, so if you imagine, let's do the legs first. So the legs come straight off of there. To this line is one half of the body. The other half of the body is down here. And that half is all legs and really big feet. We'll explain the feet in a minute. Now, if these are, if this is your pants right here, you guys know you got pockets right here. Okay, your hands go in the pockets and halfway to your pockets is your elbow. All right, that's how you know how long everything is. The other thing is that as tall as you are is how wide you are. So that's probably too long, but probably here times two is gonna be the same distance as they are long. So you measure the height from top to bottom is the same from arm to arm. Look, now he's putting his hand on their shoulder because he's in a really nice group picture. All right, so realize that your proportions are gonna be what makes it look right. Now, I mentioned earlier that a child's head is not much smaller than an old person's head, but their body is a lot shorter and their proportions are a lot shorter. So this is little George down here in front of his family picture, all right? And he looks a lot younger. He also looks a little bit closer because he's probably not gonna be as wide as his parents. Let's say he's gonna be a little bit less wide like this. And that looks a little bit more like a kid size right there. But those are the basic proportions and how everything lines up. Now notice a couple of things to make this easy. If you wanna do anything with the arm, it is the letter L when it bends or the letter V if it bends more. If it straightens out, obviously it's just a line. But you can see that these are three portions where the hand is moving like so, coming from here to here. So you can really put those any place. And you can obviously also put the elbow down. And now we're doing a dance like this. Do, 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 do. All right, so um, remember, everything bends at a joint. Make sure you have those. The joints are gonna be halfway from one part to another. So from shoulder to wrist, halfway in between is the elbow. From hip to foot, halfway in between is the knee. If you bend that, now my guy's running. You can see how you can change the way that the person looks. So again, we have a head. Doesn't have to be a perfect shape. We have a little neck, a wide body. That's pretty tall. It's almost three heads tall. On the shoulder, we can bend the arm, bend the arm, bend the leg, bend the leg, and we have a person, a skeleton, that looks pretty much like it could become a person once we add the muscles. If we like it being more of a skeleton, this can be a circle, this can be a circle, you can put little joint, things like that, and that might feel a little bit more skeleton-y to you if you'd rather be drawing skeletons than to be drawing the boxes. And then that really works for either men or women because you can come from there and do the body shape off of that. All right, thank you.